shocked. That's how some Tennessee lawmakers describe their reaction to the hiring practices inside Tennessee's top law enforcement agency. Now they're pushing legislation to make it clear that the TBI and other state agencies must give Tennessee veterans a fighting chance at landing state jobs. It follows an exclusive News Channel 5 investigation led by our chief investigative reporter, Phil Williams. I don't think we intended to tell them, give them a name of who to hire, but I think we established a framework that said all things being equal, a veteran will be given preference. State Representatives John Ray Clements and Joe Pitt say they never thought there was any doubt about a 2012 state law that said veterans will be given preference for state jobs. I think the intent and the plain language of the legislation is clear that these veterans shall be given preference. From the words that I remember that were told to me is they will hire whoever they want because it's their choice. Melissa Smith worked inside the TBI's Human Resources Department where she watched the children of Bureau bigwigs get hired as special agents right out of college with no experience. Among the veterans passed over, a highly regarded state trooper who had been strongly recommended by TBI interviewers, a police officer who interviewers called a great candidate, even a former military intelligence officer who had, quote, good experience with investigating. I'm going to tell you what my attorneys tell me. Shall says you have to, will says you may. That's what I go on. TBI Director Mark Gwynn told us he believes that the law that says veterans will be given preference was actually designed to be read as may be given preference. I would be shocked if anybody wrote a law that was going to force an agency head to hire anybody. I'm a little shocked that they felt that they felt it was optional. And when I told my kids they will be home at midnight, that didn't mean maybe, it didn't mean they had an option to be late. It meant, it meant they will be home at midnight or suffer consequences. That's why the lawmakers have now drafted a bill to make it clear that if two candidates are equally qualified, the veteran must be given the job. They would also give the veterans the right to sue if they feel like they've been wronged. If we are going to you know, live up to our word to those who have served our country, we need to make it crystal clear in the law, as it was intended, that they will be given preference for these jobs. What I have to justify is in my heart. But the TBI director insisted the final call on whether to hire a veteran or someone with TBI connections still needs to be his. Sometimes you gotta go on what your heart and your gut tells you in, in my position, that this person's gonna be a good agent. We can't just pay lip service to this. I mean, we've got to, you know, we got to be serious about it. Either we're going to hire veterans and give them a preference, or let's just do away with it. Phil Williams, News Channel 5 Investigates. And you can see Phil's full investigation on our website, newschannel5.com. Stay with us. Much more coming up right after this.